Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Shh, it's a baby sleeping in here. If you're not a part of the channel box, go ahead and join. It is a dollar and 99 cents. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. And all right, so those that are new, this is Gianna. And I just I just had to come on and just show you guys this. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Like I don't wanna I it's like I wanna see her in other colors and see how it looks up against her skin and all this stuff. It's like I don't wanna change her clothes. I don't wanna like move her. Like it's just like when I walk in the room, it's like, oh my god, look at her little sweet little self. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but when I look at these babies, and I posted this on Facebook, when I look at my babies and I walk in a room and they are like, you know, they just look so naturally real and stuff like that. I just, I can't understand like how other people say oh my gosh i don't see why they treat them like real babies oh my gosh i don't see how someone is you know acting like that about a doll and all this and stuff it's like people can you not see could you why would you not feel something looking at this baby like why would you not feel something like seriously like you gotta be some type of you know monster to not feel something. I mean, you don't have to admit it out loud. Maybe it's not like, oh my God, I'm so in love with her, like type thing, or oh, I wish I had a baby or whatever. But especially women. Men, I can understand them be like, oh, it's just, just, a, just a doll, or it's just, just look very baby-like, or whatever. Even with men, I've had the, the sweetest reactions, like, oh my gosh, like, you know, type thing. Some of them like, oh, I gotta show, I gotta, I gotta show my my mom or my wife or my, you know, something to that nature. Like, so I can't understand like how, you know, I can't understand how how you couldn't like feel something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's just that's just me. I don't know. I've. Like I said, I don't expect people to see these dolls and be like, oh my God, I got to start collecting these type thing. But to be like, we're crazy. Like, no, you're just a mean person or something. Oh, did I get something on her? Oh, I think I did get something on her outfit. Oh, shoot. I'll have to, I'll have to clean that. Nuka. Um... But yeah, let me unclip this. This is, ouch. This is actually going to be hers. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I don't know why. I, what, what am I doing? Like, am I not? Oh. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Like, I don't even know how to do a passive clip. Um. But yeah, I wanted to see what she looked like in these little vegan clothes or whatever i was gonna change her off camera i don't know um like i said i rooted her eyebrows somewhat i have not really trimmed them and stuff yet because i haven't debated decided for sure i'm still debating if i'm gonna like seal them or if i'm going to just leave them you know just free if i leave them free then i try to trim them more and have them more just in a way that's uh where they're shorter and stuff like that and not and then i have to keep filling them in to to make them just really be on the natural way but if i if i seal them I, I leave them a little bit longer and it kind of just lay them the way that I would if I was painting them and it doesn't it doesn't matter if the strands are longer or not look at, look at these little fat little thighs oh my gosh like 
how can you not love this baby like she's so sweet <laughs> all right okay so we're gonna so i got two different hats this hat which is a, like a little bit more mustardy and this is a little bit more yellowy like if you can see like their colors are like this is like boom out there and this is like less i'm thinking about i think less would be probably the best but we'll see sam ball hey baldy hey baldy squawny <laughs> um I was going to put her hat on, but I'm going to put this on first because it's just going to end up coming off anyway. So, um, so yeah, I'm this, and this is like, I've put this on my boys. Now I'm going to put this on her. Try not to make her eyebrows go bushy. Where's the, uh, I don't know where it, the brush is. It's probably over there in the basket. It's okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, and I just, I really like love, like her, so if you notice, even when I'm handling her, if you notice how I hold this, I can feel the armature here, so when I hold it, and I bend her, it, it looks like I'm not really worrying about it, but I am, I'm actually holding it, I'm securing this armature to make sure that I'm not applying pressure and, you know, possibly pushing it or anything. I'm not afraid of it breaking, if I be truthful. I'm not afraid about the breaking part. I just don't want to push it through the arm. Like, and I think it's, I think it's pretty secure. I think I just, everybody does like armatures and different stuff differently and so you just it takes a while when you get used to something i i remember you know when i would get every time i would get a new silicone baby even from the same artist i would still it would take me a while to really get used to that baby oh no poker you really need to um she needs to get uh her little stuff areas done but I just haven't I don't have the time right this moment but I will give her a little rinse off wipe down and all that and so I'm gonna probably let me just put a little bit on her powder on her I don't I don't do this that much like when I I like to just go ahead and I don't like to do that. I usually, cause once I met them, I don't, I don't go back. I hear people saying, "Oh, you know, they mat the babies. They use mat before they're dressing them and stuff like that." And I just don't do that. Once, once my babies are, uh, are like matted or whatever, I don't usually go back and and powder them. I really don't, to be honest. Um, but I don't see nothing wrong with it if you do. Um, I just personally, I mean, usually my babies are pretty much not like, tacky or sticky after they're matted. So it's not really like a need for it. But if they were to get tacky, I, I, would, I would just powder them down. But being that I can mat myself, you know. Um, you know, I'll try to catch whatever I can catch, but otherwise, like I said, if, if they don't, if it don't work out, it don't work out. Like if it, if they feel like they're tacky or whatever, sometimes the weather can affect that. Oh, this foot is really cute. I love the toe on this one. Um. And then you know you do what you what what you like you know everybody you know enjoy their babies differently and I just feel like we spend our money on these babies and if we want to mat them or whatever you want to do 
with your baby, your the money that you spent on your baby, then you do that. Only thing I don't like is when people come back and, you know, try to throw it back on the artist or go, you know, be in the, the forums trying to make the artist look bad because you know you've done like some extra stuff behind the scenes to that baby and then you you know then you have something to say now granted you know the baby does have to come home in a you know in a good way but yeah i i definitely i definitely believe in people being able to enjoy their babies and i believe that we as artists need to try to figure out, you know, as we go along, what works and what doesn't work for them, you know, for their longevity too, for people, for the mommies to be able to enjoy them because, you know, we're collectors. Well, some of us are collectors and I, I think that's a problem too. Some of us are not, not collectors. This is her little shoe. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all in a minute, but I mean, that's kind of the problem too. Um, that's why I used to be drawn to a particular um, artist because they were a collector too. And so they understood how we liked, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the brush because this eyebrow is over here driving me insane. But I don't know what I'd be able to brush. Um, but they understood what it felt like to want to dress your babies and stuff like that and I felt like um I enjoyed you know buying from them because they did extra stuff like you know um they textured in a way to where you know I didn't feel paranoid about dressing my baby multiple times you know um in a week or something like that like I I felt very confident because of the 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 um the texture that they did and um you know some some artists just the way that they paint and just knowing that you know I'm not going to do one one clothes change and the baby's paint going to be rubbing off um and so I was just you know, I just felt more comfortable with that. But that's because they were a collector themselves, I feel like. And I feel like they... Oh, my God. I love her. <laughs> I feel like they... Uh, should I give her a best buy? I just, You just got to look at those little lips. But um, I feel like they, they, they understood us more. And they tried to paint their babies accordingly. That's just, you know, what I why I liked dealing with them as artists. Let me show you. So like, <laughs> so like that's her. Like I just put on those little, little shoes. You know, <laughs> so cute, she's so cute. I just love her little self. Um, but yeah, I, that's why I enjoyed, you know, buying from people that actually collect too because I think sometimes like artists that do not collect they just paint because they love the art they love to paint and they're they're amazing artists some of them are amazing artists but some of the things that they say and they post you could tell that they kind of like turn their nose up at collectors like oh my god why would you be playing with this this is art like oh my gosh like you guys um these are not children toys and you shouldn't it's like, I don't know, it's just the way they say it, the way they word it, and then, like, it just kind of make me feel some type of way. Like, I just be like, uh, okay. You know, um, be like, how about you just paint the babies as durable as possible? The best way I, I have seen some other, like, really high-end artists word it is, like, I want you to be able to enjoy your baby. I want them to last for a long time, so... Definitely enjoy your babies, but keep in mind that they are still art. So handle them with care and try not to be excessive in anything. Like, for instance, people be like, oh, you shouldn't be bathing your silicone. You can absolutely give them a wash off. Basically, it's a rinse. You just put them in the water, kind of rubbing the water across them, 
getting the lint and the dust or anything off of them. You're not scrubbing them now with soap and all of that. And it doesn't hurt the doll like some people make it seem like it's just, oh my God, it's the end of the world type thing. It's part of the fun too. Like you, if you've ever seen a silicone baby in water, it's like the most real thing. And to take that away from a collector is kind of like a bummer to tell them they can't do that part. And honestly, artists love taking water pictures or wet pictures because even if their work look dry and chalky or dusty outside of the water, inside the water, they look amazing. So, you know, then they come back with the, that's a part of the painting process, so do not, I do not recommend you bathing. Da, 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 da. Yeah, not bathing, not, not doing Johnson & Johnson soap and all that because at the end of the day, guys, that silicone is still going to be silicone. It's not going to smell like a regular baby when you give them a bath. Like, I used to think that, so I used to put like a drop of Johnson & Johnson baby bath in water, my silicone, when I first, first got silicone. But I realized they still don't smell like baby. The best way you get that baby scent is by, you know, washing their clothes in dreff or, you know, um the you know baby powder cologne on the clothes and letting it dry and then you have that baby scent on them but yeah um it's not like you know what you think you're gonna get by like putting soap so i definitely don't use soap only except from when now with the painting process i do bathe my babies off i do i make sure i get everything off of them and stuff like that but anyway that's it I just wanted to show her. Oh my God, I love her so much. <sighs> okay. So, I will chat with you guys later. Let me know, guys, what you think about her in yellow. And I'm sorry that all my videos are extremely long, but I'm just really enjoying this moment with her. And, you know, new babies just get all the attention and love. Um, it's kind of weird because... <laughs> I don't know. So I got time for it to wear off and me to be like, okay, she can go now. Cause I still gotta finish rooting this other baby and then I'm thinking about rooting this other baby before I root her. Cause I just need time guys. I need time to process my feelings and my emotions. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the channel box. Cause when I get all mushy and gushy, I always wanna put that out here on this main channel. Cause I'll be like, oh, she's so crazy about a dog.